Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Aladdin versus the Little Mermaid, a mm -hmm. Disney, a dismal Disney throwdown. <laughs> um, the throwdown you never thought you'd see, you nor did you care about. Never thought we would see this. So this is uh, the guy who played Aladdin in the live action Aladdin movie uh, that I forgot existed until now. Uh, saying that he does not think The Little Mermaid is going to break a billion dollars at the box office. And because he said that, he's being called racist on Twitter and he had to delete his social media account. Oh, but wait, I'm confused. I thought only white people harassed people like, you know, Moses Ingram, Kelly Marie Tran and, and such on, on social media. And those people are terrible people. But when they do it, it's okay. What they say is self-loathing, self-loathing. And he wasn't like, look, he wasn't, he wasn't mean about it at all. He's basically like, you know, we, our movie came out during a different time. We had Will Smith before the slap. And, you know, frankly, even, you know, back in the nineties, Aladdin did better at the box office than the Little Mermaid did, you know? So how they, dare he, how dare he say that he doesn't think it's going to break a billion dollars. That's, that's clearly a, a very racist take from this. Uh, not white actor. Well, if they race swapped into a black woman, he could say it and it'd be fine. Yeah, right. Um, so let's let's talk about this because this, this is how ridiculous uh, things have gotten. And again, I don't think he was doing things it. Things being Twitter. Th yeah, Twitter. This is how ridiculous Twitter is. And it's going to get more ridiculous now, guys, because it looks like that free speech era, that was about six months of, rules, of Twitter. Rules for, for thee, not for me. I just love how when anybody else does it, you're a horrible, istophobic, whatever. Moses Ingram and everything else, even though there wasn't many, any receipts for this, he says something that's pretty uh, like a pretty fair take. Yeah. And then they harass him off of Twitter, and then it's okay when they do it. That, that's what gets me. The whole hypocrisy <sighs> bullshit, the whole racism that they present is okay. So, so Twitter shamed a brown man off of. Well, you answered your question because yes. he was he wasn't you know he, he was he was a dude. He was a dude. Uh, they keep moving the goalposts, guys. They mm -hmm. keep moving the goalposts. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! If you like the content, uh, yeah, we've been kind of sort of following the Little Mermaid situation. Basically, we're like. Hey, this movie doesn't look that great, regardless of the casting decisions. Well, honestly, she's the least for me, the least of the of the issues. Even though I mean I'm not happy about it because I'm tired of them race swapping everything and then telling me I have to love it. But her, she actually sounds like Ariel. She sings really well. I, you know, she's my least my the least complaint about it. There are so many other things that are like what the fuck about this movie yes <laughs> so. all, all of the animal companions are big uh what the fuck mm -hmm. um so change the music changing the, the story change in the music change in the story why, and it's a fact that live action why do it at all the live actions have repeatedly not done great people hate them i mean they're tired of them it's been overdone like it was fun the first few times now it's getting ridiculous can we just stop doing them and now dizzy's like no we're gonna do more now we're gonna do bambi hold my beer Dude. and stitch actually i would watch bambi Bambi, hold my beer. <laughs> and leave the whole stitch. It's and like, now Moana. It's like Jesus take the wheel, but with a drunk beer. <laughs> Bambi, hold my beer. Oh my God, I could just see it like like some, much more some redneck too. gets Bambi and it, like he thought Bambi was dead. Bambi's not dead. He's driving his truck and he's steering all over the place. Bambi, take my beer. And then Bambi gets and starts driving the car. <laughs> and it looked like Toonses from Saturday Night Live. Remember that? with the No, cat? but... It's a oh, deer, yes, I do. deer driving car with a beer can and one hand. Okay, now, no, see, it was much more interesting until you elaborated. Then you just made it dumb. Well, that's that's basically the live action movies. No, well, that's true. <laughs> They're much more interesting until They're they much elaborate. More interesting until you and, started and add you and add backstory and, and to characters just, that don't need them. Then you just made the live action sound better. So anyway, anyway. So yeah, okay. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the fact that what the box office predictions are, and they're not. It's honestly middling. Like it's not like great. Um, like he's sp spinning it like it's this big, big, fantastic win, but it's really, truly not. And then we're going to talk about to the, the, how much money this has cost, how much money they're spending on advertising. Yeah. So let's get into this first. This is, uh, I think his name is Mina Massad. Is that how you pronounce his name? I'm assuming. Um, Saud. I don't know. Saud. Uh, Little Mermaid recently received strong reactions from critics, which serves as a promising sign, but this this problematic mail came but along. We've seen strong it all. reactions from critics before over things, and then everybody else was like, "This sucks." I mean, yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean anything. 
Um, so he left Twitter amid fan backlash. He said, when responding to a fan about The Little Mermaid's box office potential, and again, this wasn't like he was just like, hey, yo, this crappy looking Little Mermaid's not going to do very well. Um, he predicted the Halle Bailey led movie will not cross the billion mark, but it will undoubtedly receive the green light for a sequel. Oh my God, I hope it's not like the, the sequel they did, the directed DVD one. Why would all... they need a sequel to this? Why would they? You would not need a sequel to this. Anyway. <laughs> and Little Mermaid 2, fishy again. Um, our film was unique in that audiences went to watch it multiple times. <laughs> It's the only way we reach the billion dollar mark with our opening. My guess is The Little Mermaid doesn't cross the billion mark, but will undoubtedly get a sequel. Sparked controversy. Um, your film reached a billion, but you're still jobless. Seems like you've got other things to worry about. What the heck? Uh, Mina Masao chose violence with that comment about The Little Mermaid. Yeah, wait, there's no violence! Oh my God. Would you, you know what violence is? Your stupidity. It's violent to my mental health. You know, I think this guy looks like he's in pretty decent shape. I think he could outrun the uh, Little Mermaid stands that I've seen pictures of. You know, I'm getting really tired. I mean, you know, I'm getting <laughs> really tired of this. I'm, get, I'm getting really tired of this. With the Cleopatra movie and Lilo and Stitch and everything else, there seems like um, that only one group of people are allowed to be represented. And anybody else who is, who's diverse and not white says anything. Um, they they need to learn their place because they need to understand that they're underneath certain types of people. Now, unfortunately, I mean, reality is most people don't believe this. It's just the, the dipshits on Twitter. But we keep seeing it over and over and over again. And I'm tired of it. You know how y'all said that about white people and how you're pissed about it? You're doing the exact same damn thing. And it doesn't make it any better when you do it. I, just I, saying. I'm sorry. I'm that was the only lives that matter, I thought. I know a lot of things about that. I'm just in my head. I'm picturing a scene with him. They're like, you chose violence, like running away from these screeching blue haired stands on Twitter, like one step ahead of the blue hairs. You chose violence. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. And yeah, a lot of them aren't even, are, are probably white. It's just, oh, I, I just, you chose violence. Oh my God. Uh, you're a P, you're P green with envy because your CGI monster snooze fest of a very bastardized Aladdin movie made a billion dollars, got forgotten, and you were never cast in anything meaningful again. Halle Bailey is a true star and The Little Mermaid is about to eclipse everything. Okay, except, except it's probably not. That's not, not unless Disney spends a lot more money. And even if it does, the expense is going to be far greater on Disney's end than it was for Aladdin. Yeah. Because they're spending a shit ton of money to promote this to make it stick. Ridiculous ways to promote money. They got HSN. HSN, the shopping network, who now suddenly has HSN Plus, because who isn't a fucking plus at this point? Can you see HSN Plus have their own mo movies that are Hallmark-like movies? And a TV network, apparently? They came in to to literally prom at the, the red carpet, and they're going to do a special on the 23rd to promote the movie with their merchandise they're selling. So, I mean, this should be like a musical video. This should be the Clownfish TV musical. Because now I'm thinking, look at this crap. Isn't yes. it neat? Yeah, pretty don't much. Don't you need to buy it to make your collection complete? No, you just Put don't. Put it on four easy payments. You can afford it You can it have all. everything. <laughs> you can have everything. I just, I mean, this is the, the, the likes Disney is going to make this one stick is unbelievably ridiculous. Oh, God. And, you know... Sticky fish. But anyway, back to the other guy. So he, he basically... <laughs> back to the other... Back to Aladdin. He, he basically left. Yeah, he quit. He quit. Oh, my God, CBR. No, I don't want your newsletter. Uh, yeah, he quit. Um, they're just like, man, all kinds of... Things. Because so he, now you get to see. You get you, you can see firsthand how these wackos, the ones that they're accusing everybody else of being fucking nuts, how they behave when they don't get their way. And I'm so tired of these bullies, these internet bullies who scream about everybody else and call everybody else names when they themselves are the actual misogynist, racist, whatever. Uh, I'm tired of the double standard. I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing it be okay when they do it, but not okay if somebody questions somebody else questions it. Especially if you aren't black. I'm just gonna be honest here. Yeah, so people are like, Twitter suggesting he's salty because he hasn't been cast in much. But that the thing is, is like, we haven't even seen how this movie does yet. No, we don't even know how it's going to do. And beyond that, they're, they're not wrong in the fact that the movie came and went and people forgot it existed. That's true. I've forgotten almost all the live action Disney movies. I'm sitting here like the only one I can think of, like off the top of my head, I think Maleficent. Okay, that was a thing. And uh, um, the first Alice in Wonderland. Did Beauty and Beast. 
Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, we went to theater to go see that. And We're I still remember. waiting for Snow White. Kid Thorne came out already, but it didn't. God wants it gone. I'm just, I'm just like, it's getting, it's getting ridiculous. But the whole attitude of if anybody questions anything, that especially when it comes to this movie. <laughs> I'm on the Disney boards, too, and it's like, as soon as you don't like the movie for whatever reason, it's because you're racist. It's like, no, it's because the movie looks like dog shit. I'm sorry, the CGI looks like dog shit. The songs are changed and look like dog shit. The Flounder, Sebastian, and Scuttle look like dog shit. I'm sorry. There's so many things wrong with this film, and Halle Bailey is like the only bright spot of it. But again, you had to race swap a character because of agenda. Are there any bright spots in this movie? Because I can't tell what the hell's going on. Well, Ariel so would have been if her hair had been red. You should have just given her bright, red, obnoxious red hair just so we could keep track of where she is. It's kind of like Final Fantasy VII. They said the reason Cloud had spiky blonde hair is that Midgar was so dark. You had to know where your character was, you know. Right, people brought that up. Like, she blends in. And it, it is, like, and you know, her, her fins are brightly colored. A lot of people have problems with her 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 thin bra because that implies that she doesn't have boobs. It's just it's just you know like skin. I don't know what the best kind Do of boobs mermaids are, even. Lactate? How would they? Why would they have boobs? They wouldn't. They How would, do they have kids? Was she hatched from an egg? Is that... I don't I don't know. Apparently, he fertilized a lot of eggs from different nationalities across the world. Apparently, he's like freaking Zeus. <laughs> Look you know? at my this is Ariel and her very diverse, very different sisters. Yeah. But none of them none of them were disabled. So you didn't go far enough. Oh, and, and are any of them trans? If we not, don't know. If, if not, you did not go far enough, Disney. What is wrong with you? The, Twitter will demand more. And you will have to give them more. And then when you give them that, they will demand even more. And you have to give them that. Or you're an istophobic whatever. And you have to clear your name. See, there's no way to know if it's a, a boy fish or a girl fish. Because fish don't have dicks. Any of them have alopecia? If they lived under the water, they probably would. But that's another story entirely. Like they had a whole thing of like, yeah, this is what an actual mermaid would look like. It's and not pretty. It was on National Geographic, and it looked like this really obese, bald woman. It was like a manatee like a thing. Beluga whale looking thing. Very sexy. <laughs> Very sexy. I'm not body shaming that horrifying monster at all. I'm just saying, you know, it's not really my thing. Uh, side note, for some reason, the ad's coming up on TMZ. You have a shirt that says I'm a virgin and moist. I think it's because I think it's because it's Redbubble and you were looking at Redbubble for something. I wasn't looking at moist shirts. No, on I know. Red I can Bubble. confirm he was not a Redbubble for such a thing. So is, anyway. is Ariel a moist virgin? Is that the problem? Is that why she wants Eric so bad? I well no, I don't know. It's just need no man. She need no Even man. though the whole film seems to still rotate around, <sighs> you know, revolve around her needing to kiss Eric and him to like her for her to not be cursed. Um, she now she doesn't know it now, so maybe this now one, she can be all shy and modest, and she'll just let herself turn the sea foam. That's why they, they made her non redhead. Yeah, because no red redhead would be like, I'm going for that man. I'm going. Hot for that damn. Man. Anyway, that's what I did. <laughs> so. Which man is that again? Uh, you know which man. All right, so um, we're yeah. here because of me. Let's be honest. That that is not untrue. I'm, <laughs> so, I'm kind of. I'm very. Persistent. I'm a little. I'm a little slow on the uptake. I've always been kind of that way. I'm like, oh, 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 she likes me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, well now what do I do? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad Chinese. Anyway. Sorry. So. That's what's going on. Now, here's what they're, they're estimating. They're estimating that it's going to come in. And now, we're talking the four-day. This yes. is a four-day opening. Yes. Now, Aladdin is comparable because it also had a four-day opening. A lot of the other live actions, when we look at numbers, we're going to compare by the three-day estimates. Um, but for the four-day, they're, they're estimating it'd be 110 to 130, I guess, now. A million is what they're, they're thinking is going to be the yeah. four-day total. If you go down, that sounds like, oh, it's a win. Not really. It's actually pretty much in the middle. If you go down here, um, I have some of the, the ones that are the, the theatrical releases. And these aren't all of them. These are like the most recent, like recent ones, recent years, not Ouch. counting other ones. Cruella only did 20 yeah, million? Yeah, but it was split, to be fair. That oh, that's was right. That was, I forgot about that. Yeah, um, Melinda was, was. The second Maleficent bombed at 35 million. Cinderella did 67.9. Now, these are three days. Maleficent did 69.4 million for the first movie. The Little Mermaid will probably, with, by, by their estimates, for would likely end up in there for three day between yeah. Maleficent and Aladdin. Because um, they're... 
they're saying Aladdin was 91.5 for three day, but 116.8 for four day. If they're at, they're estimating 110 to 130, it could just beat Aladdin not by a little bit, but same basic area. Juggle Book was 103.3 million. Beauty and the Beast 174.7. Lion King is 191.7 million. And those are their live action. So it's right now where it's estimated to land is pretty much in the middle. So here's here's the thing. This is like the last like big 90s renaissance movie they have. And even that, The Little Mermaid was not as big of a hit, the original, as... I mean, it kicked off the whole mm -hmm. Disney renaissance, but wasn't as big as Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and Lion King. Definitely mm -hmm. not Lion King. Every movie King progressively massive. got more... Uh, yeah. It had a bigger box office take. People got more excited. And that could be also because it kicked it off. People didn't know what to expect because prior to that, the animation from Disney was kind of... Eh. Yeah. It was like the rescuers. Not that I'm saying anything that was bad, Oliver and Company, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it, it was, wasn't huge. There was there was definitely a uh, a downturn after Walt's Don stuff. Don Bluth like, was kicking their ass. You well, know, like the American Tale and stuff. Don, they were more you know widely received than Disney movies. Yeah, it's kind of weird to remember that, but it, it kind of reminds me. I mean, now what we're seeing with Universal and you know uh, Illumination, especially, uh, it reminds me of that again, where Disney's kind of an also ran in an area that they mm -hmm. basically invented. You know, theatrical animation and. They're just not not bringing it like they used Is to. Is it going to do what what, what uh, Mario did? I don't know. Hell no. I don't think so. No, way in hell. There's no way in hell. There's a lot of division over this film. A lot of division of the film because people don't like the change to Ariel. But the majority of people are just like, what the hell are, are Scuttle, you know, Flounder and Sebastian supposed to be? And they're very put off by that. And then the songs are changing. You're hearing that the story is changing. And people are just like, why do we need this? I'll just go watch the original. It looks better than what we're seeing for clips of this. Now, our daughter, she was watching the original yesterday, and then she's like, you know, I kind of want to see the new one, but she's like, eh, you know, I I don't know. I mean, I think it's going to do okay, but I think it's going to be forgettable, and just like so many of the other ones. I Like I said, I forgot until now. It's like, oh, yeah, they did do Lion King, because I refuse. I actually refuse to watch Lion King. It is my all-time favorite Disney animated movie. Mm -hmm. And the clips I've seen of it, I'm like, God, this is such a pale imitation. I don't care how good it does. Everybody keeps saying it's never as good as the original no. animation. So we go up to um, how much does this cost? So how much are they, are, has, are they spending on this stuff? Okay. Right now, the budget for this thing, not counting the advertising campaign, which is going to be ridiculous because they're pushing this thing everywhere. It's sitting at $200 million. Uh, roughly is what the yeah. budget for this movie cost is about $200 million. Now we know for a fact, Disney already paid itself $10 million to run it during the, uh, run a promo for it during the Oscars. Yeah, That's just itself, one. Yes. Okay. They have been shoving this, this thing into everything. The HSN and QVC are running promotions for it. They're trying to find any way they can run a commercial and a tie in. You can't, you know, go anywhere without seeing some little mermaid promotion. They're putting all kinds of money into this one. So we already know it's 200 million, just base, not counting marketing. They're going to have to do really, really, really well with this to make a lot of money or have it be a win. Even though, even as soon as it hits a hundred, if it hits 120 million opening, they'll be like, Oh my God, it's a win. It's really not. It's in the middle. Unless yeah. it does better than Lion King and Beauty and the Beast. It's not going to be a, a win. It's and look the the word of mouth so far has has been pretty mixed. I mean they're trying to put a positive spin on, but people are like, yeah, it looks weird. I mean it really the you're not allowed to say that. As soon as you have any criticism weird. of this film at all, it's because you're racist, and that's <laughs> what they're trying. And that's what happened to poor this poor Latin actor. Yeah, he he brought up a, a you know I don't know if it's going to do as well because you know it was before the pandemic and we had Will Smith in it and other things and now he's a hater racist that wants to commit violence or that the one his comments demand violence because how dare the brown man tell the white Karens you know what to think and again I'm I'm not trying to be like this but we saw this with Cleopatra and other yeah. things too doesn't matter any other race doesn't count you're racist if you say anything that is against. Certain, certain a certain protected class. Certain protected class. Certain protected celebrities. Um, and it's bullshit because sometimes you can just hate things for not you know for other reasons. And I'm sorry, not liking the fact that race swapped Arrow doesn't make you racist. It's just like why are they why are they doing this? Even though most people aren't even complaining about that, they're complaining about Flounder and Sebastian. 
Yeah, I, I mean, look, I don't have any interest in it. If if our daughter wants to go see it, yeah, we'll take her to go see it at the Dollar Theater or something, you know. Right. But I mean, that being said, I, I've said since day one, and people keep saying we say things that we don't say. I have said since day one, I honestly do not know how this one's yeah, going to Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Could it hit a billion? Yeah, totally. Because they're putting enough money into it. It doesn't mean they're going to make as much off of it because they're really over going. They're going nuts on the promotion for this. Well, it was like The Lion King. I took one look at it and I'm like, this looks like shit compared to the original. And it made a ton of money. So I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. You know, people might just go see it. Hey, Little Mermaid, turn your brain off. Let's go see it. You know, there's not a lot of other family movies where we saw Mario. Let's go see this one. And then they'll talk about how weird it was after the fact. Everybody will forget about it in six months, you know. And uh, then, Yeah. Well, they keep saying about it being a family movie, so it might bring families out. But a side note, every time you see um, Halle Bailey show up to a premiere when these, when these things for promotions for Little Mermaid, she's wearing an outfit that their, her boobs are falling out of. Like, um, I just think it's funny. She has to remind going, people she has tits. She goes to the yeah. premiere and she's wearing this, like, this, this like, it, like, looks like aerials, like the blue seashell stuff. And, and, and her boobs are, like, spilling out the top. I saw another one. She's wearing a white dress with, like, pearls. It's really cool. And these are cool for, like, an adult thing, but it's supposed to be a kid's movie. And then her, it's like, so low cut that her boobs are, like, flopping around inside. Does she lean forward too much? They just pop right out of that dress. Oh, my God. And were, I thought that was, to me, that was funny. There were, somebody sent us a, a link to it. And I, I apologize. I forget who it was. And I, I forgot all that until now. But um, there was a, a Mexican talk show. I think it was a Mexican talk show. It was in Spanish. And um, they were interviewing her. And they basically came out and said, hey, you know, uh, we don't see your color. We just see you kind of like on this damn talk show. I'm like, what the hell? Like, why would you, why would you say that to her? And she's just like, I don't think she speaks Spanish. So she's just kind of like nodding like, oh, OK, that's great. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, so. That's- yeah, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. How- has, they were meet, well, I guess intent matters, and they were meeting it as a compliment, but still. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just think, I just think this is that this person has been kicked off. Well, he hasn't kicked. He, he left Twitter for the same bad behavior that you know, like a lot of Star Wars fans have been accused of. There have been uh, the tweets from the Star Wars uh, Twitter. There have been article after article after yeah. article written. Um, people like vilifying the Star Wars fans. Now, are they going to do the same thing when it comes to you know these stands on Twitter that nah. are attacking nah. this person? Some of them might actually be paid for. We've talked about this before. Now, I, I don't think that's the case across the board, but there are certain sleazy services that you can enlist. I think it's harder now that Elon Musk is there, but a lot of these accounts were already created. There are certain sleazy services that you can acquire to literally have people go out and attack, you know, on your behalf and make it look like there's a, an angry mob. You yeah. Know, and there really isn't. And there really all isn't. Counts. Yeah. So the good news is, you know, after all this, we'll see where it ends up. It's, I don't think it's, it's going to do bad. I don't think that at all. I, do, I, I, I don't think that 110 is a win. No. It's, it might do more than that because the way Disney's spending the money, it'll at least appear <sighs> like it's doing better. But if you want a lot of overpriced shit, HSN is going to have a bunch of Little Mermaid tie-ins, apparently, where you can pay, like, twice as much as you pay in the store, but you get it on payments. There you go, Easy pay or whatever they call it. I mean, QVC was easy pay. I'm not sure what HSN is. But you get it on payments. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah. Um, I can't. I can't wait for like the weekend after. I just can't wait till it's over. I'm so fucking tired of it. Well, the weekend after the numbers don't mesh up right. You know, the headline can be something's fishy. Oh yes, it's because someone's review bombing or they're just Somebody's, crashing. Yeah, yeah. The bigots. The bigots. <laughs> so, the biggest tank. This movie. Our Ariel tanked did, the movie. Tank the movie. Our Ariel didn't have a chance. Or you know, bigots get get wrecked. Ariel made way more money than. Nah, yeah, I mean, it's, it, like, whatever, whatever. It's going to do what it's going to do. It's going to be forgotten and uh, just like Aladdin was. Those pennies and nickels attached to the corner of the stone. Oh, because she's singing in her Part of the World song. Okay, got it. Oh, okay. I thought people were like, she. okay, they were just like throwing money at her or something. No, yeah, no. Like, okay, like the fountain at the mall. They used to do that, throw the money. That's their wishes. Yeah, their wishes. I wish. This I movie wish. was over. I wish this movie was over. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. Bye. Pre-order the Clownfish TV comic book right now on Indiegogo. Go to Clownfish TV comic. Dot com. That's clownfishtvcomic.com. This is a fun collection of all new comic strips 
based on dumb stuff we've said on the show. Again, that's clownfishtvcomic.com. You're going to have to hurry. We're only taking pre-orders for a limited time. Now we're going to get back into the show. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.